them to follow There's no turning back, no, no Nobody like you, Omega. Nobody like you, nobody like you, nobody like you, Lord. Alpha. Nobody like you. Oh, Omega, nobody, nobody like you, nobody, nobody like you. In all the earth, nobody like you. From generations to generations, nobody like you. Forever and ever, nobody like you. No matter what may come our way, nobody like you. You are God in all the earth. God of all creation, nobody like you. God bless you. Hello, everyone. Hello, beautiful people out there. Hello to everyone who has been a part of what God is doing here on my channel. I am out here today to encourage someone again with the word of God and not my words. So I just want to say a big thank you to um, God for bringing me this far and for the lives of every one of us who, you know, he has kept up till now and I know that God is taking us all, all the way because God does not just take us to, you know, a level and leave us there. He can only be from one level of glory to another as long as we stand fast, you know, and firm in the faith and as long as we are steadfast in the things of God and as long as we keep trusting. God. So I just want to say a big thank you to God Almighty for His goodness, for His grace, for His love. I always say I cannot talk about the story of my life without talking about the goodness and the glory of God and His grace upon my life. And as well, I am here to thank every one of you before I go into my video. I always say before I dive into my video. <laughs> Okay, so before I go into my video, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you and to you, 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 you watching me right now. <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to you for being here. It's not by chance or by mistake that you are here. I believe that, you know, your coming here will never ever be in vain. May the good Lord visit you supernaturally where you are. May the good Lord um, grant you your heart's desires and cause his light to continually shine upon you and all that he has entrusted into your hands and upon you and your family. God bless you and thank you so much to every viewer, for those who have been commenting and those who just watch and don't comment, for those who just pass by and just maybe watch up to a point, God bless you all. But I encourage you to watch my videos till the end you know god bless you because god can actually use anybody god bless you so today i am actually here to encourage someone with the word of god maybe you have been laboring you have been toiling you have been sowing and you have just been you know working so hard and it looks like nothing is happening you know in your life i am out here to let you know that in god's calendar there are seasons and times and god has a purpose for everything so i am going to take us through scriptures today and see you know what the word of god says concerning your situation and to encourage you to stand firm you know and don't give up hope don't quit it's not your time to quit quit is not your time to give up on god because it's possible you know you've been toiling you've been laboring and it looks like nothing is happening and right now you know there's a crisis all around the globe and you are like you know when will my season come 
I want you to know that God is God even in difficult situations. God is God on the mountain and God is God down in the valley. God is God when things are going right the right way and God is God when things aren't going the right way. God is God when things get difficult because the word of God makes us to understand that when things get tougher, you know, we as children of God, what happens? We get stronger. So it's not about the situation. It's all about you because most things that we go through as Christians and as children of the Almighty God, they come to refine us, you know, they come to purify us just like gold. You know, when, when, when the um, blacksmith puts gold, you know, through fire what does it do that gold comes out more refined and more beautified so don't just look at the process the refining process the refining process can be tough because when that gold passes through fire what happens it melts first and then before it begins to you know form into that shape you know and begins to look beautiful and begins to look you know beautified and begins to look purified and begins to look good so oftentimes when we go through uh, you know the refining process it's possible that things you know look like you know they are so dark that we, we begin to give up hope and begin to lose focus of what God has for us in our tomorrow just because we are going through the refining process today forgetting that tomorrow you know, as long as we keep holding on to God, that tomorrow will be better. So, you know, if we look into the Bible, in the book of Genesis, that was where creation started from. In the book of Genesis 1, let's go to verse 14. It says, then God said, let light appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. What was God trying to do? God was trying to organize and put things in order. In God's calendar, there is order. So he said, let them be signs to mark the seasons. Here there's the seasons. So God created the seasons. He said, the days and what the years. He said, and let these lights in the sky shine, shine down on the earth. And that, and that is what happened. And God made two great lights two great lights the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night he also made the stars and god set this light in the sky to light the earth so i don't want to go on and on but it says that god says said let them be signs to mark what the seasons the days and the years that is why today we have seasons you know and we have times so we we have the day we have the night we, we have um spring we have summer we we have autumn we have winter you know we just have different seasons of the year so god in god's calendar so there are seasons and there are times when it comes to our lives you know so and what god has proposed for our lives and what god has destined for our lives so but oftentimes when we are going through you know the, the the process you know because the process can be tough but god is teaching us what to wait god is teaching us to be patient because when you are patient you know you will be able to you know receive from god because when you are not patient it's possible that you go ahead and you do it your own way and you lose it then so god teaches us to be patient and to be able to wait for the right time so in god's calendar there are seasons and there are times so you're watching me right now it's possible that you will go through difficult times and what what is going on right now i hear somebody say how is it possible that something good can still come out you know of my life or that something good can still happen right now it's too late god is never late and he's never a late god and god is a god who steps in most times and often times when the situation looks very hopeless so you don't have to worry you don't just have to you know give up hope and never quit on God because God knows what is best for you. So the Bible says he made the seasons. So there are seasons and there are times in your season, you know, a better will come your way. In your season, things will get better. So maybe you've been laboring, you've been sowing in tears and, you know, you've been 
working, you've been believing God for the best, and it's like nothing is happening. Oftentimes when God is silent, God is actually doing something, you know, that you never even thought in your mind was going to happen, or in your wildest dreams, or wildest imagination was going to happen. So God is a God of surprises. I call him the God of surprises because he wants to take the glory in your life because God does not want to share his glory with any man. So God will do what he has to do in your life, not what man will do, but what God will do. God can use a man to bless anybody. God can use a man to raise anybody. God can use a man to establish anybody. Anybody, but the glory goes to God and to God alone. So I also want us to quickly go to the book of Joel. Let's go quickly go to the book of Joel. Let's see what it says in the book of Joel. Joel. Okay, let's see what Joel says. Or let's go to Ecclesiastes first before we go to the book of Joel. It says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I'll, I'll, go, I'll still go to the book of Joel. But let's just quickly go to Ecclesiastes 3 first. Because we are talking about seasons right now. So I want us to read Ecclesiastes first before we go to Joel. So it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Let's see it from verse, okay, from verse 1. It says, for everything there is what? There is a season. A time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to do what to plant and a time to harvest. So it's possible you've been planting and you've been sowing and it looks like the rain is not coming. You know, I want you to know that there is a sound of abundance of rain for you. It's possible you have sown, you have planted and it's like, oh, it's looking dry because there is no rain for you to harvest so that you can harvest where you have sown, where you have walked, where you have labored. But God is letting you know there is a time for everything. You, have, As long as you have sown, you have planted. He said, definitely there's going to be a time of harvest for you then it says when you go down or let us just go to verse 5 it says a time to do what to scatter stones and a time to gather stones in other words when you scatter stones you gather stones in other words, when you plant whatever you plant, that you reap. So if you have been planting rightly, you have been sowing the right seeds, and you have been scattering the right seeds, you have been planting the right seeds, God is making you to understand that there is a time definitely for you to reap where you have sown. So it's just a matter of patience and a matter of waiting and believing God that things will work out together for your good. I always say this, nothing works against the child of God. Whatever thing you go through is just a beautifying process. It's something that will make you better. It's something that will make you stronger because as a child of God, you have been blessed beyond your imagination. It doesn't matter what comes your way. The Bible calls you blessed. It doesn't matter what comes your way. The Bible calls you favored. It doesn't no matter what comes your way, the Bible calls you, you know, the, 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 the one whom God loves with an everlasting love. So you just keep walking in this consciousness and keep believing God for the best. So let us quickly go to the book of Joel. Let's see what the book of Joel chapter 2 from verse 25 says. Or maybe we should even read from verse 23. So the book of Joel. Okay, it says, from verse 23, it says, Rejoice, you people of Jerusalem. Rejoice in the Lord your God. Rejoice, you daughter of Zion. Rejoice, you son of the living God. Rejoice, you child of the Most High God. Rejoice, there's no need for you to worry. There's no, no need for you to fret. There's no need for you to be anxious about, you know, anything because god can handle anything like i said before he's god at all times it doesn't matter what is happening in the difficult moments he is god when things are rosy he is god so you just keep holding on to his glorious word he says rejoice you people of jerusalem and rejoice 
in the Lord your God. For the rain he sends demonstrates his faithfulness. So God is faithful. And like I said before, you have been sowing, you have been planting, and it looks like the rain is not there. Hear the sound of abundance of rain for you. It doesn't matter the crisis that is going on right now. God can still do the supernatural. God can still do the impossible. Glory to God. He says, now the Lord is sending you rain and that rain demonstrates his faithfulness. There is a sound of abundance of rain for you. He says, once more, the autumn rains will come as well as the rains of spring. Glory to God. These are two different seasons. Hallelujah. He says the, 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 the rains will come the one of the autumn and it says as well as the rains of spring glory to god rain in the good times rain in the bad times it doesn't matter what it is it says the treasure floors will again be filled will be piled high with grain hallelujah he says and the presses will overflow with new wine and olive oil it's going to be a new chapter after the lockdown believe me so many things are going to happen for those of you who have been laboring for those of you who have been sowing in tears for everyone who has been crying out to the lord who has been faithful in the things of the spirit there is a sound of abundance of rain for you and god is about to do something in your life that you never even ever imagined he says in verse 25 the lord says i will give you back what you have lost he says everything that you lost to the swarming locust and to the hopping locust oh glory and the striping locust and the cutting locust my god everything that you have lost you know by reason of of of, of um, circumstances and situations it doesn't matter whether through attack through whatever means you have lost anything he says i am restoring back to you everything that you have lost I am restoring back to you. He is restoring back to you everything that you ever lost. He's paying you back a double for everything you lost. You remember Job? He lost it all. But God gave him a double for his pain. God gave him a double for his sorrow because he was faithful and because he believed till the end. Trust God through the pain. Through the good times, keep trusting God. Don't just trust Him when everything is okay and start complaining when things are not working out and begin to blame God or begin to complain about things. God is faithful and He says He's his, this, this rain that God sends to you is shows his faithfulness. That's to tell you that the blessings of God shows his faithfulness. The grace of God, the glory of God, the mercy of God, everything that we get from God, every privilege that we have you know from God that it is a, a sign of God's faithfulness to us. So let's quickly see what 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 says about our light afflictions, what it says about what we go through, you know, as, as in the refining process and the challenges that we go through. It says from verse 17, 2 Corinthians 4 17, it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, another translation calls it a season, which is only but for a season, just for some time. It says, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And for this reason, while we do not look at the things which are seen, oh glory, but at the things which are not seen. He says, for the things which are seen, they are temporary, oh God. But the things which are not seen, they are eternal. Because it are light affliction. He says, that thing you are going through, that refining process, is only for a season, is only for some time. It's not something that is persistent it's not something that will last forever he says because when we look at those things which are seen we lose it we lose focus on those things which are eternal he says because the things that are seen they are temporal they are temporary things but those things which we don't see with our optical eyes they are what eternal he says for this reason why don't we look at those things which are um temporal he says 
because our light afflictions, those things which we see, they are only for some time. They are not forever. They are not going to last for a long, long time. So whatever you're going through, like I said before, there are seasons and there are times in your season. God is making things beautiful. So watch out for the sound of abundance of rain. It doesn't matter, you know, how you have cried in the night. It's possible you you you've wet your bed with tears so many things are going on you know in every area of your life or in some areas of your life or in the area of your health or in the area of of, of your marriage or in the area of you know whatever or as a result of what is happening right now even the crisis alone is enough to break people down the crisis alone is is enough to put people in a difficult state in a, in a, in a state where they, they you know they are mentally imbalanced but god is saying to you here now they are born us of rain i will make things you know turn out for your good for for the best so watch out for the sound of abundance of rain whatever you're going through is just a refining process god will beautify you again and trust me there is just a miracle at the corner remember daniel he was put in the lion's den he didn't give up hope on god and god shot the mouths of the lion when the time was right for God to take action. God didn't stop them from putting him there. God didn't stop the men from casting him into that den. No, God waited for the right time to prove himself. God will always wait for the right time to prove himself in your life. You remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were put in the fire just because they refused to bow? If you have not bowed to the gods of this world, if you have not bowed to the system of this world, watch out. God has a season, a time and a season to show fought himself to prove himself in your life they were cast into that fire lake of fire uh, into that fire god didn't stop them from being put there by by nebuchadnezzar no god didn't stop them from being thrown into the fire but god acted when it was time for him to receive the glory and to glorify himself you know amongst men so god will do that which will bring glory to him in your life in this season God bless you. It's your season and it's your time. Remember, God is always faithful. And I love you and we will see you again in my next video. Just keep speaking the word of God. Keep declaring the word of God. And if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, what are you waiting for? There, is so, there are so, so many things that God has provided for the saints in Christ. There are so many benefits. There are so many things that God will do in your life as long as you are a part of of his family and he loves you with an everlasting love accept jesus christ as your lord and personal savior because he is coming back again and soon and very soon we will see our king but the question is are you ready are you prepared for his coming god bless you and i love you we will see you again in my next video bye, -bye.